Today is another big, exciting day because... Time to go up! Yeah, it's time to start building the struts. Here we go. Those are the struts of which we speak. And they are going to form all of the triangles that are going to build up our dome structure. Now, things are gonna start looking good. We'll be done in just an hour or two. All good. Let's take no time at all. Don't believe him, people. This is the step that Natural Spaces Domes, the company that we are building their dome, say that you have a dome raising party. And this is what you do, you build all the struts. We aren't party people though. <laughs> a couple friends and we're good. Yeah. We have the struts. We have the hubs and the pins that will put them all together. A hammer. We'll get our ladders. That's all we need, right? I think so. Okay, here we go. This is our building template. We get to connect colors. I feel like I'm in second grade. Woohoo! The NSD people suggest that we pull out colored markers and color it in. Oh, we could do that. We could. But as you can see here, we're just going to be following this code and we're, we're A amber yellow, B blue, crimson red, B for dark, and all of our struts already have those colors painted on there. So it is basically not a paint by number, but it's a build by color. I like that. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Get two red ones. On you. First triangle is going up and we're doing it right here. Two red ones. It's like building a house of cards, but it's our dome house instead. And I hope it's a little stronger than a house of cards. That'd be preferable. <laughs> yes. The way this works is we are going to build, a, put a little teepee. Um, the left one will angle this way, the right one will angle this way. And then while I'm holding those, Brian will take the hubs and pins and put them all together. Right? We'll see if we can do this. <laughs> yeah, probably maybe two more hands would, would help a little bit, but we'll see how it goes. Yep. Okay, go ahead and if you hand up the first strut to me, I will hold it. And then you can figure out how to lock it in place. It's easy peasy, right? I did say that, didn't I? Yeah. I should use both hands. Yeah. Oh my gosh. These are, that's way taller than I was expecting for this first course. Yeah. Like by a lot. By a lot. Well, that was just perfect going up, huh? Yeah, that just took two seconds. <laughs> yeah, that didn't go super well. I'd say. It went well once we figured out what we were doing. Well, we're still figuring out. But for this next re round, we're going to try and do a little bit better. The first one is always our figure it out round. And then we, we adjust as needed. The Optimize. Yeah, the first adjustment is to get a bigger ladder. For sure. And you got your wrench so that the pins could go in easier. So you could finagle them in better. Without hitting my fingers. That's a good thing. And thirdly... We cut a little piece of wood. We're hoping that we can prop up this first strut. Because I don't know if you noticed on the video, but I'm a little short and I couldn't even reach the top. So hopefully if we put that board in there, it will help hold that up so I don't have to. Yep. All right, let's uh, try the next set. Okay. Even so, come on, look at this. <laughs> this is so cool building a big house. I know. All right, so we just built the B. Next one's a C for the, the riser wall, which means we need a D and a C. That means we need a black and a red. Dark and crimson. Yeah, that'll work. These gloves came with our building materials. I wonder if they are implying that only adults should be attempting this build. <laughs> 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 it's 
slight discrepancy. Second set of struts is up. Do the top. Okay. Okay, so we've done a B and the C, which means the C goes on top. C is for continue. Yeah. B is for Bravo. A is for awesome. Yeah. D is for diploma. <laughs> Do we need a plan or something? Yeah. To put that cross <laughs> beam in. That's where it needs to go. Yeah. You're saying yeah a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to throw it up there. I'll see what happens. Okay. Sounds like a great plan. Yeah. Well, the uh, I'm just going to throw it up there and see what happens plan didn't work out. Nope. <laughs> I guess it was worth a shot. It's just too high. So we're gonna go with plan C, I guess, plan B, I don't know. And bring the tall ladder to the inside and grab the skid steer. And you're gonna use that to help get the strut up top. Bringing in the big guns. First set is complete. Perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness, that took us hours. It's in, I, I don't know how perfect it is, but all the pins are in, so. It's perfect. I'm going with the rule that if the pin gets in, that is enforcing the appropriate angle. I, I don't know what else to, to go by, so that's my story and I'm sticking to it. I'm game, I'm good. So, uh, well done. We got the first ones in. Yep. The rest should go easy. <laughs> we are back at it for another day of trying to put up these triangles to form the first course of our dome frame. And we got plans. I got ideas. Yeah, we are refreshed and renewed and ready to go. It's going to work. Yeah. This next area is one of our extensions. And the extension means that the building is going outward, so we don't want framing on that circle. We need to build up around it. Does that make sense? <laughs> this is what we're shooting for with this next set of triangles. We're gonna be putting up this one and this one. We tried putting a rope around this one to temporarily hold it up there so that we can get the second one on top and then you can pin them all in. So far the rope is holding. Yep. Don't bang it. I make no promises. <laughs> Just be prepared to duck or something. Run. Maybe we should get a hard hat. That would mean we'd be OSHA compliant. <laughs> oh, we are OSHA compliant. Oh, sh yes. <laughs> Here's what it looks like so far. That rope seems to be holding and we decided to try something new. Brian is going to put the forks on his skid steer and we're going to use that to lift that top horizontal piece in place. That way he can go back and forth and pin in the two top parts and the skid steer will hopefully do the heavy lifting. so close. That's as close as I can get. <laughs> so that's as high as it'll go. We're really close. We can maybe prop it up. I think this will work. Oh, that looks like it's going in. Yeah. I'm giving a thumbs up to this rope method. And skid steer. And skid steer holding that up there. Yes, your skid steer is useful. Very. When we move on to the next one, it is not this next triangle because that will be an opening. So we are actually gonna head back to the regular triangle 
on the other side of the extension and see how that one goes. The next two base rails that we're working on are two C's. So that means we need a D and a C and a C and a D. We got the next triangle up. The pins aren't in all the way, they're in most of the way. We're gonna put this next one up and uh, try and get the, everything in before we completely lock those pins in so you don't have to bang them out like you did last time. Yeah. That means for this one, we're doing a C and a special D. Okay. Special D is a thin one because that is gonna be between two of our skylights so we don't need the big, huge width to hide our view. Using the skid steer worked really well last time, so of course we are going to do that again. It's working! It is! That top one is, they're in, and now he's just going through and putting the pins the rest of the way in. And after that, we will have completed another set of triangles. And that only took like an hour. <laughs> but if those took all day. Hey, our first days are usually a little painful while we figure things out. And then after that, we get better. We figure it out. We figure it out. We got a section up. Yeah, two sections, really. Yep. It's looking good. Coming along. Yeah. Now that we know what we're doing, it's gonna, it's, I feel better about this now. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's rain in the forecast, so we went ahead and tarped everything, and we'll just have to wait for the rain to pass, and then we will pick up again and try and finish this first course. Yep. All right, I gotta get moving. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye from us, generally, too. That'll, we'll wrap this one up, and uh, stay tuned as we finish the first course after the rain. Thanks for watching. This isn't my good side. We, we can't do over here. Oh, sorry. Back over. Okay. Okay. I forgot what I was going to say now. <laughs> Can you at least pretend to look excited? Thank you. Don't believe in people. Whoop. Would I lie to you? Uh-huh. Uh-huh.